I am Adam Hutler. I'm the head of product and tech at MonkeyPod. And today I'm happy to give you a quick look at Board HQ, which is a new app that we're launching that will help your organization manage its board of directors, your meetings, your members, your documents and other resources, really all of the logistics associated with having a board. So to get to the Board HQ app, assuming you've already installed it from the app's marketplace, You'll just go here in your organization menu, click on Board HQ. So functionality in Board HQ is roughly broken down into these four tabs. The first tab, and the one that you'll probably spend most of your time in, is this next meeting tab. And most of the time, that's where you're going to put your time and energy, right? Is preparing for whatever the next meeting is on the calendar. Now, in this case, we don't have any, but let's add one now. So let's say our next meeting is at the end of the month, 6 p.m. It's in person at our office and we're going to provide some uh, additional instructions and now we're good now from here on anything dealing with this specific meeting this is our dashboard this is our command center as you're planning for your next meeting uh, there probably are a lot of tasks that you have to do to be ready for the meeting now with the case of something like a board meeting you probably have those quarterly maybe bi-monthly something like that Odds are pretty good that those that to-do list is gonna be basically the same each time. So we're gonna provide just a one-click option to copy the meeting or the action items from the previous meeting. Bam, there they are. Now let's say we have something extra this time around. Uh, we have to hire uh, additional security. That's not hard to do. There, now we've got that to-do list. Now, each of these functions both as sort of a, a simple kind of checkbox to-do list, but these are full-featured action items in MonkeyPod. So if I click to open that, you'll see just like any other action item, I can assign it to other users in the organization. I can change the status, the priority, the due date, add description, all that kind of stuff. And generally speaking, uh, for each board meeting, you're gonna have some kind of packet of, of materials uh, to provide to your board members in advance and for helping to sort of guide the meeting. Now you'll notice when I created that meeting, one of these showed up by default, and that's the prior meeting minutes. Now because in our last meeting, we've already uploaded uh, minutes after the meeting, MonkeyPod is smart enough to know what those are and to uh, attach them here to this meeting because that's always gonna be a part of every board packet. You've always got to vote to, uh, to adopt the meetings or the minutes from the last meeting. Of course, you're going to have other documents as well. Uh, so you can do that here. You can download them all as a, a zip file if you want. MonkeyPod also provides some templates and samples in case you find those helpful. These templates are based on best practices from folks who've been doing this for a long time. Uh, we also have some recommended uh, standard financial reports that you probably want to provide. And this is just one click uh, to run that report in MonkeyPod, same as you usually would. Okay, the next tab I want to look at is the actual board members tab. And this is where you're going to track uh, all of your board members, current and former, the officer roles that they may have, their terms of service, and what committees they serve on. Um, adding a, a new committee is as simple as that. And then you may want to add members to it. So let's say that this person here is going to be part of that nominating committee. Easy peasy. If you want to add a new board member, say somebody new got uh, elected to the board, that's just a one-click operation. You select from any of your existing relationships and, uh, and then they're going to show up on this list. The resources tab is where you're going to track documents that aren't specific to any particular meeting, but have relevance to your board members. For example, uh, board handbook or your bylaws or your certificate of incorporation or different policies, things like that. We're going to call these evergreen documents uh, and they're here under the resources tab. You see we've got quite a few here. Uh, it's the easiest thing in the world to you know click and upload a new one if you need, although these tend to be pretty stable, don't change too often. Um, you can add a description. Uh, to contextualize it. Uh, but the best part here is any of us who've dealt with a board, we've had to deal with uh, a request for this document or that document or whatever. 
um, often, frankly, multiple times from the same board member in a short period of time. Well, can't make that stop altogether, uh, but we can make it a little bit easier to, to manage. Uh, so in this case, let's say we wanted to send out the bylaws. So here we've got the option to choose individual board members or all members of individual committees, uh, and we're gonna send them the bylaws. Now, let's say at last night's meeting, we mentioned you know, we're going to be amending the bylaws, and so we want everyone to have a chance to review the existing bylaws. Uh, well, fine, we're going to send everyone a copy of the bylaws. We can add a or customize a little introduction, a little signature, and then we're good to go. Those will be sent by MonkeyPod by email uh, to those board members' inboxes. All right, now the last tab here is the meeting archives tab, and this is going to show you. Uh, basically a, a list of all the meetings that you've ever managed through Board HQ. And now there's a couple of things that I'll draw your attention to. First, we talked about the action items that are associated with each meeting. Well, let's say you get through a meeting and some, somehow you manage to make it to the other side without actually having uh, completed uh, that to-do list, or maybe you did complete it and you just forgot to check those boxes in MonkeyBud. Well, all is not lost. In fact, now that we assume those four action items that are incomplete are at this point moot because the meeting has happened, just one click to mark all four of them as complete. Those action items have now been uh, been cleared out. All right, now let's say for our last meeting or really any past meeting, it's completed. Um, and now we need to uh, upload the minutes. That's easy. We're going to be prompted to do that here. Just to upload the documents. And then when we create whatever the next meeting is, uh, MonkeyPod will be smart enough to know that, oh, that document represents the minutes from the most recent meeting. We're going to automatically include that in the board packet for the next one. All right. Well, that's a, a quick drive by look at Board HQ. If you're interested, check out the Apps Marketplace. You'll see it here. Uh, this new app is $9.50 a, a month or $95 a year. Of course, as always, premium apps are free for enterprise users, uh, but it's just a one-click installation, uh, and then you'll be good to go. Thanks for listening.